it's really quite depressing. I was kind of hoping for maybe a little less damage. Let's see. Ah, the Emerald Coast. Yep, okay. Hey, horse. I haven't seen you since I got thrown in prison. You still around? Oh, yep, okay. Well, alrighty then. That's a quicker way to get over there, I guess. Out of the way, small fries. I guess the guy guarding the place ain't doing that no more. Understandably so. Sparkly spots on the ground are a sure sign of items. Just asking to be found. Step right up and examine the ground. I mean... Surely not everybody died. Like, that's just not possible. Eventually, like, just the way that kind of chaos goes around, like, they must have, like, some of them had to survive. At least, at least Gemma. That'd be nice. I'd, 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 appreciate if, I'd appreciate if she was okay, you know? Kind of attached to her, if I'm being 100% Relios with you. Yeah, Alright. Big rock. So, do either of us own a shovel? No, we're just... I'm just gonna do it on my own with my hands? Okay. It's a box! It's a box with... a couple Wait, letters? Huh? The top one there has seen better days, that's for sure. Oh, right! Weren't there letters inside the basket I was in? My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. I don't recall... purchasing a ticket for the Fields train? You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms, and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the king of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Then what the hell happened to him? Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. Okay, didn't know I was royalty. I'm pretty much a little bit of everything somebody can be, I guess. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day, you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? I appreciate that, by the way. Sorry, the character's just kind of learning that, oh, not my family. Also, that's a shiny gem. To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. Oh, okay. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Okay, that was not just a vision. I actually went back in time. Holy crap, you Dressel! You can do that, why don't you just send me back even further and I'll just stop the whole thing from going kerplooey. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. Yeah, well, what's done is done, I guess. I mean, I assume... There's a good reason why I can't do that. As much as I would like to. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. Yeah, he seemed like a real stand-up guy to me. 
but I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Okay. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. Wow, he didn't say anything, but that was actually really... Like, thanks, man. So we used the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. Are you ever going to tell me why? You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow is not too far from here. It's just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. I mean, okay, sure. So, am I really to just interpret that everybody is dead? Yeah, well, I guess going back doesn't serve much a point. I am very sad right now. Dang it, Dragon Quest. Also, the horse is gone. Also, we've got gobos. We got gross little gobos. All right, yeah, fighting off these fools will be nice. Fight off them tears, boy. Okay, oh, and the gloomy grublin runs off. What a chump. Easy. Alright, so these dudes aren't all that yeah, powerful either. Okay, well we got ourselves a lamp over there, so hold up. Gotta make sure I get rid of this fool. Oh, hey, you survived an attack. Kudos. Been a while since something's done that. Ow. And it looks like these dudes actually got pretty decent attack, it's just their defense that's lacking. And it shall be their undoing. Gotta fight. Gotta fight one of everything at least. Whoop! Awarded for claiming victory in at least 250 battles. Yeah, I've I've fought in some things. Let's see the Helidor region, the King's Barrow. Gotcha, 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 and the Door of Departure. Yeah, I guess it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Whoa! What the hell's that? Some sort of automaton? I don't know what it is, but I think we have to fight it. Ah! An exoskeleton. Ha! Okay. Ah. Thank you, Dragon Quest. I actually, I actually needed a laugh there. Thank you. Who else wants some? <laughs> you can't just hit me with the heavy stuff and then, and then do that. Okay. We'll we'll have more time to 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 do some splore and and what have you once we once we get that orb. Do have to wonder what that's so important about the dang thing. Lord knows it'd be nice if you told me a bit more. Also about the apparent seer that told you to hang out with me. Like, you gonna explain any of that? Alright, that looks to be some sort of... encampment. I read any of these things, I feel like they would say interesting stuff. Guess not, it's fine, then I'll just break their pots. Luckily, neither of them were the chamber variety. In retrospect, I really should probably not do that. <laughs> like, I don't think we have, like, a whole plumbing situation fi figured out in this particular universe, so... I mean, it's just one of those questions they never bother asking, so you never get an answer for it either. It makes sense, it's just... odd. Huh. What the heck happened here? Are they dead or Who did this to them? I guess they're dead. Huh? Ha! 
Ah, that seems like a bad call, but off we go. No, seriously. Uh, nope, yeah, it's a corpse. Okay, these people are dead. All right, well, whoever decided to do whatever it is they did, decided to do so with uh, a degree of efficiency that I don't exactly applaud. Normal bats. You know, you could have just made those drackies. You had the model and everything. So there are drackies and normal bats in this world? That's weird, man. Okay. We got smogsters. Oh! I guess tricky devils are just standard enemies now. Uh, little devils! I'm guessing they're weaker and... Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. I guess the one we fought was a special one of this species. Makes sense. Huh. Easy. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Oh, yo! Heal slimes! Gotta watch out for these sucker chumps. They'll heal each other constantly. It's very inconvenient. Of course, if you kill them in a single hit, they can't do much of anything. They're marginally more powerful than normal slimes. Plus, you know, they have healing magic, so... Oh, hello. Oh, a slime drop! That's the sound that comes out when there's like a, um... I noticed while I was fighting monsters, it, sometimes a normal chest drops, but then if you hear like a higher pitched, a higher pitched chime, I think a rarer item is what spawns, I believe is the case. Did I want to actually come out here? I'm left to wonder. It seems like both ways are completely blocked off, so... I mean, realistically, I should be able to go past that, but the map says no, so I guess... Tis simply the law of things. Quite strange indeed. All right, all right, all right. That's the way I came. What? All right. Well, I guess just two of them. Whatever. Your toy. Oh, he survived. That's not good. Same amount of damage. Did not die. That's so weird. Another one bites the dust. A little consistency, if you will, enemies. I'm used to. I'm, I'm still used to RPGs where all of the enemies of their ilk have the same amount of health. I guess the stats vary just ever so slightly. Alrighty. Well, first things first. Got to cut off the source of healing. Definitely don't want to deal with any of that. Ow. Ow. Freaking hit me with your weird little tentacle things. Come on, I beat those other ones in one hit. All right, fine. Well, then before you get a chance to heal yourselves... Bye-bye! There we go. Ow. Why is Sentient Smog gonna try and mess me? That makes no sense. Oh, fantastic. All right, at least we're both incredibly powerful now. Friggin' Smog Monsters. All right, at least enemies are providing a bit of a challenge again. Either I'm incredibly lucky, or I was incorrect about the sound effect when chests are spawned. I know not the answer. Take that, smog! Or smog! Doesn't make any difference to me. Oh, and then you gotta go and do that to my dude! Nobody does that to my dude. That's my friend right there. Who else wants some? <laughs> All right, I have a question. How close are we to leveling up? Not very, but a lot closer than we were when I started the recording session. That much is facto. All righty. Let's see. Tempting, but also much rather just take them out. I'm guessing if you, you have a chance to steal an item they'd otherwise drop giving you an extra shot at being able to grab it. Which is fine by me. 
Alright, and we're getting sizable chunks of money, too. Alright, I guess fighting off all you dudes isn't exactly necessary. So off we go, I guess. Yep, they run away in terror, for they know they cannot handle what I've got. Oh, this is a monster, apparently. Oh, dang, it's a little mechanical birdiemans! I remember you dudes! Man, it feels like it's been forever. Let's see. There we go. It's just been a long time since I've played one of the more modern Dragon Quests. Ugh, the last one was, well, it was ten, and the, the one after that was one for the channel. Another one bites the dust. It's nice seeing some of the dudes that I saw from, like, um... I saw back in, you know, the 9 and 8 and 7, 6, 5. You know, stuff like that. Let's see here. Both ways lead to the exterior. Which leaves me to wonder. Okay. Well, that's the way I gots to go. So what about this way? Treasure chest. Thank you very much. Oh, a Templar's uniform. Cool. That... Any good? Yes! And it boosts charm as well! Neat! Okay, any special things about it? Nope, it's just pretty good armor. Cool! Fine by me! You'll notice that the sentient smog clouds don't have much interest in fighting me. What about you guys? Nope, also don't! They know what I'm able to do. Oop, there's a bit of a dip in the floor there. Either there was a tremor or bad construction happened. Hard to tell. Where? Look, sometimes I just gotta fight with candle birds, okay? Prepare yourself! I say prepare yourself! Yeah! There we go. I like how much these little these little devil dudes remind me of uh, Piccolo. In case you're blind and I guess kind of stupid <laughs> and don't know this, uh Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball, does all of the art design for the Dragon Quest series, so things look like those things, which is why this dude has got, you know, that's why everyone was calling this dude Trunks when that trailer came out. I don't really see Trunks. I guess long hair Trunks, maybe. Shahoo! I mean, if there's just gonna be a monster there, but anyway, like, they've got, these things look like Namekians in a way. At least... The way Namekians looked before we knew they were Namekians. Back in Dragon Ball, we just thought they were demons. Turns out they were aliens. And in fact, slugs. Slug people. <laughs> Go figure! Okay, we've got ourselves another exoskeleton. And a very shiny one. Monster mounts. What? If you spot a monster sparkling away when you're out and about, that means you'll be able to ride it or its mount if you manage to feed it. This will enable you to access areas you otherwise couldn't get to, and will able to use its unique abilities. Why not go give that shiny exoskeleton a good hide? A, a good hiding? Oh, like hide, like remove. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Who knows where it might be able to take you? All right. Hoo-ya! This is something new. Oh, all right. We've apparently got ourselves a little rap rousal. All right. Pretty sure rap rousal isn't actually even a word. But that's okay. Ha! All right, the smog is still alive. Man, what kind of devil knows holy magic? That just seems stupid. Fight. Avati! Yeah! Rut row. All right, luckily he's not attacking the guy who's close to death. That's your problem, bueno man. Another one bites. Another one bites the what? You can outride the exoskeleton, I guess. Oh, look at that! I'm inside the thing! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm using its hollowed out corpse. Can I... Yeah, I can! Ooh, sweet. Recipes. Uh, Nelman finds a recipe. Put a feather in your cap. He takes a look inside. Learn how to make feathered caps. Well, how about that? Files of magic water. <laughs> and a seat of defense. Or a seat of defiance. And both works. Right, do I have to get out of this thing to leave, or can I keep it? Because this thing is awesome. Ah, butts. I sure wish I healed before I came in here. <laughs> You're taking candy from a baby. This is going to get us in 
tell us good books. I just know it. We're sure to get a big reward. You sound like the pink and blue unicorns from Charlie the Unicorn. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That orb belongs to us. Get your filthy hands off it. It's more of a talon, really. Oh, wait, no, they have hands. Whoever you are, you've just made a seriously big mistake. Yeah, I definitely did, because I need to heal. Well, this was a bad idea. Okay. Uh. Welp. Okay, well, yeah, luckily he's got medicinal herbs. All right, first, just give you one of these. And it would be super great. Thank you. Okay. Now we're pretty good. Oh, that hurt like a lot, though. All right, well. I've certainly found myself in a bit of a sticky wicket. Hey! Man, why are the herbs better than the healing? I guess because technically it's free if you just gotta rest up. Decelerate! Oh great, we've got enemies dealing out debuffs. Not appreciated. Ow. Alright, we'll definitely try to take one of these dudes out. And now we're even more slow. That's just... Friggin' amazing. Alright, don't trust my ability to not die, so... And I made the right call! Alright then, how about you get yourself some sizz? Ow! Good lord. Alright, well, I mean, it's... Nice to be experiencing a bit of a challenge. Hachi, hachi, machi. Okay. I'd like to actually attack, but I don't know if Eric will get to do something before I get attacked again. Oh, I guess I get to attack. All right. Whatever. Ow. Thank you for spreading the damage. Oh, wow. I just realized it actually shows how our stats have been affected next to our portraits. That's awesome. Man, what's it do? Just die. There, one down. Ow. All right, nothing to worry about. We're all good. Ah, back to normal. And critical! All right, well, I mean, it didn't kill him, but it's got to get him real close. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Who else wants some? Hell yes! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nope, we'll, we'll wait on those. we got to build up a bunch of skill points. Alright, that could have gone better, but it also could have gone a lot worse. Amateurs. But who the hell were they? And what did they want with the orb? Uh, I don't claim to understand people. And what do you want with it? Well, whatever. It's back with its rightful owner now. And about time, too. You know, after they threw me in jail, I thought I'd never see this thing again. But here I am holding it. You're some kind of lucky charm, you know that? I've got a feeling that if I stick with you, everything will turn out okay. Just don't ask me what I mean by everything. That's my business. <sighs> right, All right. I've done what I came to do. Guess we should head east and check out that door of departure place your grandpa mentioned. Yeah, I guess. The oh, breadwinner! Carrying a total of at least 5,000 coins. I guess in... <laughs> in total, not at the exact same time. Fair enough. I would like to keep this for as long as I possibly can. Thank, thank you. I've got absolutely no idea what happens if I bump into an enemy while inside this thing. I can't preemptively strike, I know that much. I mean, we did just get into a fight and I still have this thing. I'm kind of hoping that there's stuff out in the exterior that can only be gotten through the help of this thingamabob. Just be darn swell, let me tell you. Oh, all right. Apparently I accidentally bumped into somebody. All right, no biggie. Oh, and now we're both Super Saiyan. Fine by me. Boink. 
All right, if Eric leveled up, then Almond's got to be close too. Bum, bum, bum. Wing of bat. Right, now that's the way to the promised lands. Uh. Boop. All right, then fine. Whatever. Why can't I just live inside this freaking exoskeleton? The pun itself is more than worthy enough to take the title. I sell. I tells you. Well, oh, hello. Zambo! Ow. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need you to not. If it's all the same with you, I'm really gonna need you to just not do that. Alright. I'm a little egg man, what you gonna do? Nothing. Well, the question is... I thought this thing, like, was the exoskeleton, but apparently there was something in here driving it around. I'd like to know what. No, oh, I don't get to keep it. That's lame! Alright, whatever. Ask me if I give a dip and dot. I don't! Except I do. I give a lot of them. My feelings, my feelings are hurt. All right, well, downwards, I guess. I thought I saw a campsite somewhere. Yeah, over there. And more eggs, oh, skeletons, and some kind of crab monster! Crab monster! And also lamps. Okay, okay. Crab it! Dead. And leafy lampling! Dead. Oh, he's. Oh, fiery powders! Ah! I'm trying to hobble some. You're trying to peddle some, some drugs? With your powders? Huh. Not in my house. Alright, that being said, let's head to the. It's like, these statues are supposed to keep monsters from attacking me while I'm here, but like, I look around and there's still a lot of them all over the dang place. Alrighty, no, 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 no. Okay. Forge items, I guess. Also, there's always just like a merchant here and I, I guess I can't ever, like, talk to it. It's very weird. Huh. I feel like I should make this just for the sake of saying I made it. That's gonna be my philosophy. Gotta complete the entirety of the th everything, I guess. Alright, let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, that's still too much. Well, it's not bad. You could do worse. Success! A bronze sword plus two. Cool. Oh, I, I actually got some perfectionist pearls. All right, let's see. Any other type of weapon? Do. Nope. All right. I feel like I should be just, you know, trying to make one of everything if I can. Scale shield. Let's do it. Let's forge ourselves a nifty little old shield. I mean, I can't use it, but I'm gonna make it anyway. Okay. Let's see here. Man, this is confusing. Okay. Eh? Weird, man, weird! I'll get the hang of it eventually at some point. 
I just haven't the foggiest idea when. Alright, well, if I meet another party member that can use this, they've got it, so that's cool. Alright, forging more stuff. A hat. A feathered cap. Alright, I mean, these are better than what we got. You know, I'll make a couple of these, why not? Although, how the hell you're able to forge one this way, I haven't the slightest. Okay. Really? Uh, yeah, I guess it, is, it did say vertical. Fair enough. Eh. Eh? Eh. Okay. <laughs> eh. Hey, hey! Although I am very much running out... A focus! Uh, wouldn't turn out very well at this point. That's not good. That's not good. Really? Can I do anything? Oh, this sucks. Alright, well, at least now I know. Okay, so is it just a normal feathered cap? I honestly don't even know. Alright, well, let's just give that another go. This time, let's try not to make everything perfect. Let's just, you know, let's settle for adequate. Let's just give it a bash, and then give this one a double bash. Because you don't give a damn. Okay. That works. Huh. 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 Okay. Eh. 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 Good enough. <laughs> Let's just make a functioning hat, okay? There we go. Ah, Feather Cat Plus 2! Sweet. You even got some perfectionist pearls. There's gotta be a way to, like, get more focus or something. Alright, let's see. Clothing. Can't do anything with that. Armor. Scale armor. Alright, he can't equip it, but I can. Then it's worth trying to make. Let's do this thing! Alright. Sheesh! Alrighty. Huh. Eh. Eh. Dang. Alright, well, whatever. Scale armor, scale armor, and I'll take it. So I guess you could get, like, up to plus 12 if you know what you're doing. Of course I don't, but, you know, still. Scale armor plus one. Fine by me. Now here's a question. Let me work an item. Huh, interesting. I guess it's because that's as good as it can possibly be. At least with what I've got. Crazy! Oh, well, alright. You doing okay there, bud? Well, taking care of business. Time to do what your granddad said and head to the door of departure. It's to the east here, right? Come on, let's get going. As soon as I talk to this dude. Whoa, you're just selling broadsword? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just selling that like it ain't no thing. Alrighty. Interesting, interesting indeed. Alright, well, obviously, I'm going to buy this. And pretty sure it's a two-armed weapon. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a broadsword. I would like it, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, both hands, gotcha. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And you can't equip shields? Fun. I already have a Templar shield I can give him. 
Interesting you can buy materials. That's not normal. At least not for, you know, the other things. Other Dragon Quest games. Alright, well. Farewell, Copper Chopper! Ba damn! There we go. And then, what I can do is go to equipment. And we give you the scale armor. There we go. Yeah, not so charming, but whatever. I can safely say I give no dips. Besides, he makes better use of it. Also, we got them feathered hats. Whoa! Feathered hat boosts just about a little bit of everything. By the way, it's like barely anything at all. Nothing at all. Right, well, there you go. Have a nice feathered hat. And then I will also take a super cool feathered hat. There we go. Don't have any other accessories. Oh, wait. I have gold chains. Oh, right. I got that from that one guy outside that church. Yeah, I did that off screen. It was basically him just teaching me about um, the pep team up move. And I showed it to you, so I basically filled the exact same requirements. I could use it now. Actually, the gold chain doesn't really fit the character. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Okay! Now, admittedly, I am hungry. But I choose to keep playing. Yep, yeah, let's rest. Until dawn! Until the dawn's early light. And other such things. Of that nature. And now we are here. Hello, how's it going? Alright. Looking around at all these various no good nicks. Okay. Guess we just gotta head just straight through. Gonna have to like shimmy sham through some shimmy shamables, I guess. Although I do feel very much like doing this! Oh hey, you're not even a crab, you're a squid with a mallet. It's the calamari kids! By God, by God, it's the Calamari Kids! Scott's malignancy is broken in half. Merrily messes about. You fool! Don't you realize you're about to die? I guess you are a child. But I guess when it's a monster, it's not nearly as deplorable. Either way, level up. There it is. I was wondering how long I was gonna. It was gonna make me wait. Bunch of boxes. What we got over here? Who are you, Fisherman Joe? What's that now? Look for the door of departure, you say? Well, I couldn't be certain, but there's an old building all day stuff here with a big set of doors on it. You got a mind to go trap some trapezing out to far flung ruins? You could do worse than go and take a look. You never know. Thank you, Fisherman Sam. Yes, I know how I called him Joe and then Sam. I give no dips! I suppose it was unrealistic to think he might have a bookcase in here, but... I dared to not judge him by his appearance. I like his, uh... I like his, uh, sailor suit, though. It's not like a- it's not a sailor, but it's like- it's like an old-timey bathing suit pirate outfit thing. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen like, sailor characters in Pokemon where it's basically all I'm saying. I'm just saying, I like the way it looks. Alright, we'll just kind of shimmy-sham our way through, I guess. When no doubt some sort of nefarious beast will arrive to try and rend my flesh. I would prefer if that didn't do that. Well, we've got that fellow. Been a while. I was... It's been a while, I was wondering when you were actually going to show up. I guess we're getting a cutscene first. I kind of wanted to fight- oh! <gasps> Rut row. Well, that's problematic, ain't it? Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Yes! And I'm going to. Damn it. They found us. I don't know how, though. Yeah. Well, that's just dangerous and foolhardy. Well trained horses, though. Well, don't just stand there. Come on. Alright, luckily there's some horses there that were not there before. Go, random horses! Outrun these extraordinarily well trained horses that have been specifically bred and designed and everything to catch people. 
They're gonna let a dude with lavender colored hair mess with me. Really? A crossbow bolt? Oh, well, that's just rude. Why would you do that to a horse? Please don't. Take my hand. Well, that sounds like a bad idea, but okay. What, did you only have one crossbow bolt? Quickly, the keystone. Oh, right, that thingy. Kind of looks like we're not moving very far. What? All right, well, we can get in. Good enough for me. We ride. You shall not escape me, Dark Spawn. Watch me, sucker. <laughs> it's not the horse's fault. Why are you doing that? Now. Those poor horses. They did nothing to deserve this. Briefly outrunning horses. Oh, thank God the hood finally fell off. Ugh, it clashed with my style. Bye. <laughs> Looks like I escaped. You think you have won? The game has not even begun. <laughs> it's funny because there's a lot more video game left to play. Ah, uh, good times. Let's see what they did there. Also, I mean, feel free to try to attack me as much as you want. Ultimately, I am going to succeed and you are going to fail. Oh. Whew. We made it. That was too close. And it only cost the lives of two innocent horses. Their deaths shall weigh on me greatly. I'm not even joking. So, feel bad. Uh, where exactly are we? I don't recognize this place at all. Uh. The the geography of any given Dragon Quest game has always been odd. Anyway, he just hunts you still, believing you to be a harbinger of the calamity, even though you're not, and he's an idiot. Nothing has disturbed this place for eons, and yet here you are. I can only imagine what curious path has led you here, but mine is not to reason why. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I've got no need for the church at the moment. What, did you manage to slip through the cracks too? How'd you pull that off? I've seen you around here before. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, no, you're different, actually, slightly. Gonna need supplies, and that's where I come in. I don't know. What are you selling? Selling the scale shield, of course. A flippin' course. Alright, well. We got some she slimes. I'm down for fighting those. Despite their names, there's actually nothing to... To suggest that they're actually female slimes. That's just what they're called. Alright, we blast our pep. That's unfortunate. Yeah! Alright, that was definitely the bigger threat. Ow. No, but that one died. Good lordy. She slime thinking it's better than everyone else. This is rude. Well... That well, certainly was something. If I see anybody else around these parts, that's interesting. But, uh, okay, hang on. You see me, and you run away? Yes. If an enemy runs away, then it means I'm strong enough to take care of them without really any worry. So I feel like, yeah, it's okay to keep going forward, though. ba ba do ba do ba ba do ba da ba da do Whoa, that's different. Some sort of drum ghost. All right. I think I just hit the she slime. Oh no, it's a bongo drongo. Okay. That's a weird little thing right there. But uh, yeah, I'll fight that thing, why not? Yeah! I didn't even get to see what it could do. I was kind of hoping it would hit me on the head like with its drumsticks. This seems like it would be funny. All right, well, I don't know what a hotto is, but I guess it's where we're going. Maybe we will find friend who will want to be friend with us. I like the idea of friend. Okay, that time I definitely hit a she slime. Oh, I guess I hit a little bit of everything. Fair enough. Well, let's settle on this guy first. My 
much bigger threat. At least I assume. I mean, they ran away, so clearly they aren't that big a threat. Easy. Okay, that takes care of that. What's all this about? What's this bubbly, bubbly nonsense? I demand explanations and answers for things that I don't understand. Alright, well, let's see. First things first, let's go up here, I guess. Huh. Very interesting style we've got going around these parts. Okay. Do, 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 do. Bongo Jongo! Okay, so he does hit me over the head with those things. Makes sense. Oh, that was overkill. That was a little bit more pow pow than it was absolutely necessary, I feel. Oh, now you run away! Friggin' cowards! Another one bites the dust. Well, one died, the other two ran away like cowards! Crazy. Okay, I was about to get upset that I missed a treasure, but I can't actually get over there. So that's uh, fine and dandy, I guess. Well, uh, what exactly is this? Does the road not tire you? Do your bones not ache? Well, do not despair. Let the sauna cure your ill sweaty oasis. Okay, but it's called a sweaty oasis, and I don't like that. And also, perfectly normal deer. I guess. Weird. I'm just saying, man, considering all of the weird things we fight, seeing normal animals is just... bewildering, to say the bare minimum. Wow, talk about a tone shift. Everything's a lot less rocky and orange. Meat. Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. Yeah, we can afford to chill for a little bit. At least until they find a way to break into that door. Travelers come. The timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring wave. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Well, I kind of sweat for free all the time anyway. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? As a matter of fact, yes. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine. I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. I mean, it's only us. I mean, I'd say we'd only have to start caring once either we're affected by each other's smells, or until a female joins the group, in which case... Might as well yeah. go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? Uh, sure. The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. <laughs> I find that guy's flowery way of speech to be intimidating. Like he's trying to, like, get us to do something. Beneath Mount Hughes, you like start snowstorms on summer days. Visits, visitors are rare. Your blue haired comrade steams into the stair top sauna, a peak in the mist. Is everybody speaking in haiku? Okay, well, this guy's a traveler, so he's not. I came here in search of a new supply of weapons, and I have been richly rewarded. The quality of the steel here is truly second to none. Am I right in thinking that you are visitors here? I strongly recommend that you purchase some arms before you leave. You will not regret it. I keep buying new stuff before getting to use anything. High Priestess Miko, her son, our finest swordsman. Ryu, strong as the bear. Brave as the lion, he slew the mighty dragon, but he too was slain. Yep, everyone is talking in haiku. This place has known fear. A great red dragon of fire, craving human flesh. Foul Suzanga, beware his volcano lair. Yuji, mount a fire. All right. How can an entire town do that? 
Mysterious girl, temper fire. Woo! Woo! The red hatted girl. Like, even the kids? How does not everybody hate every conceivable second of their life? Like, this, this, that has to require, like, way more thought than just normal talking. That's so weird. Do not care for it one bit. All right, item shoppy. Even the shopkeepers. All right, you don't really sell anything worth note. Cool. Glad I spent the time to do that. Okay. Well, I'll go to the sauna momentarily. Kind of in the middle of looking for, I guess, a weapon sailor. The sweat on one's brow, the hammer of hot iron, the life of a smith. Art of our fathers, a village built on this trade. A proud tradition. We need iron ore. The mountains abound in it and in the supply. Help us to find it, gather the ore we need. Reward will rates. All right. Apparently a book that'll teach me how to make iron stuff. So sure. Look for crystals on the rocks. There you will find it. Okay. How much do you want, though? Yeah, I guess the game will tell me when I've got enough. Don't really feel like reading a bunch of haikus right now. I mean, if I were clever, I'd start speaking in haikus, but I'm not. So I'm not going to. <laughs> Pretty much as, as simple as that, really. I wouldn't even be able to talk on I wouldn't even be able to talk in rhyme for very long. Very confusing. I was told that there's good arms. Where do you keep your arms? Not the Switch game. Although that game is fun. Shame it didn't blow up in, in massive popularity quite like Splatoon did. Chances of a sequel, slim to none. Kind of hoping I'll accidentally make a haiku at some point. Like, it has to happen, right? It's all just about sentence structure. I bet if you looked around enough, I'm prob I've probably said something accidentally. That's all poetic and junk. Right, just keep looking around at all the rats and breaking jars. There we go. Broken jars. And nothing else. All right. Well, this was ultimately not the way I needed to go at all. I mean, I'm probably going to have to go in there at some point. Or I could go in now. Nothing's stopping me. Hang on, let me just see if there's any, like, treasures or anything that I can I can grab while I'm around. Oh, yeah, there is! Nice! Ta-da! Ooh, perfectionist pearls! Friggin' sweet! Basically, it just gives you the chance to reforge something. Hello. Yeah, Ryo protected us. His sword held the dragon back. He's no more. Miko lost her son. Now she must live with her grief. Bleak has winter rain. My name is Miko, leader of this town's people, maiden of the shrine. Our home is humble, a place of hot springs and steel. Little happens here. Well, I hope mine being here doesn't end up getting everybody murdered. Because, wow, that sure would be awful. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to assume some people survived and they just ran off. I mean, that would be the sensible thing. Surely somebody said, okay, well, clearly everything's going horribly wrong. Run! Run as fast as you can! Take the dog and run, G Gemma. Gemma. Gemma, Gemma. 